Well, what a good day in sport for the Celts. Scotland have Graham Dot to cheer. Wales have the rugby and now Mark Williams. And it would be remiss of me not to mention Johnny Segnan's drop goal for the Irish. I had to get that in somewhere. Uh, listen, he didn't need any last-second heroics like Sexton, did he? He seemed always in control, Jimmy. Yeah, he played well. He played solid. Um, he was always on top of Trump. You know, he, as Ronnie said earlier on, you know, Mark Williams going 3 new up, playing the well he is, is a tough task for Trump, and uh, he couldn't match him tonight in anything. What were you saying from the commentary box when you were in there, able to get the atmosphere of the arena? It seemed like a guy that was very calm and collected, and Judd, who at times was really feeling it, you know? Yeah, I mean, very hard to tell, you know, because obviously, you know, um, Williams just looked comfortable you yeah know? and when when you're comfortable things happen for you you know your opponent don't play so well or they pick up that you're playing well and they might try a bit too hard and judges look like he was just trying to make things happen and the more you try and make it happen the worse it gets mm. and mark's so experienced and good enough to know that that's probably what he's doing and he's just like he's like mayweather pop 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 see you later pop 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 see you later and he's just yeah you know he's just a, a, a great player knowing what he has to do and um, and can see what his opponent's doing so you you've got complete awareness of what's going on basically and you're just sort of like a surgeon just doing your job and you go thank you very much mm. see you later mm. see you tomorrow of course at 3-0 he gets back to 3-1 we come out for that uh, fifth mm. frame and, and a kick for Judd Trump in this Jimmy it was a, a kick in the teeth mm. in terms of his chances yeah, of reaching he's, the he's only playing a shot for nothing but he gets a, um, like, a really bad contact but, there but Jim I was commentating on that frame yeah. and his positional okay. play he should never have even been no, there sure, you know, he's, sure he's kind of come straight yeah. on the black he's the white balls yeah. Travelling too far around the table, and you yeah, know, no, he, eventually, yeah, he's going to run out of table. I know what you're saying. Yeah, and you know, I just, just he, he just, you know, there he's played a sort of a safety shot. He's, uh, he's, he's he can't really win the frame anyway. He's trying to get snookers, but things were just not happening mm. for him, and uh, that's because Williams is playing well. Mm. Yeah, and Fulzi didn't have a chance for anything to happen for him in the next frame. It was all Williams in frame six. Yeah, um, it, I think, you know, what Ronnie's saying is right, you know, Mark just knows exactly what this he's going to do at this point. He's recognised. Right, so I, I, I think we need to rewind this one and no, show him I, I was shot. commentating and I, I just see, as he pointed out, you just see Judge just slump in his chair. Yeah. I like literally just went, <laughs> but he fancies it's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, it's sort of like, isn't you know, and... Um, so for him to slump like that, he probably like feels like, you know what, I'm done here. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just a matter of time. He, you know what? He, what? For everything he done, Mark had an answer. And as an opponent, that's so debilitating. All right, you're not getting punched in the face like you are at boxing, but mentally you're getting bullied and you just feel like, just, you know, you can't win sometimes. Well, actually, referring to that shot when he slumped and then going into the last frame, you're absolutely bang on using the boxing analogy because John Trump just seemed punchy in this last frame. He's played to screw screw off there. He's got loads of reds to uh, loads to hit there, and he finishes it, no, he finishes nowhere. It's a, a real bad positional shot from there. And this this there, it's just like I mean, I mean how hard is it that though? I know. Yeah. I mean the balls are bouncing. I but, mean it's, but, like, it's uh, like it's like watching ten pin bowling. But every time he's hitting the balls hard as well, he's not getting any reaction from the white at all. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's there's no shot, timing so. in the shot. It's just all bang, you know. And when they're going in, it's great. But when they're not going in, it can look yeah, really look at that not one. good, look, you, know? you know. That was. Um, <coughs> I mean, the idea is to try and keep the, the game a bit compact sometimes, you know, mm. and just. But balls are flying around the table like that. And when Mark's playing, how he's playing, he's just going to just yeah. do a Mayweather. Yeah. Mark <laughs> Mayweather tonight. Yeah, Mark Mayweather. There's a thought. What this studio? Yeah. <laughs> he wish all his money. Hey, what's he get? Yeah, I wish. Uh, Three hundred million. Is it every yeah, time he right. wins? Oh, That'd be nice. <laughs> Three hundred quid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the word the guys use was comfortable, but we're sitting in the sofa. What word would um, you use? I didn't think I played too well today. I think I was a poor match uh, from me, to be honest. But. Uh, I, Judd just looked nervous from the off. Uh, mm. I just, I could see the first couple of frames. It, it was like if he, I, I don't know, if perhaps he was expecting to steamroll me or, or, or whatever, but he was under pressure and I just knew, you know, it's hard to outpot him and outscore him, but he's never going to out-safety me or out-grind me. So I just thought, if I can just keep him tight and, and get on top of him, I know he's going to go for some crazy balls, but uh, some of the ones he went for towards the end, he sort of give up, I think. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but you didn't re re refuse any shots, did you? You still played your yeah, normal just, game. Yeah, I just didn't feel... You didn't feel you scored just, enough. Yeah, it just, just shows, though, like, three years ago, you'd have... 
You'd love to have lost play like earlier, no, You'd love to have played like that. And yeah, now yeah. you're sort of playing like that. We know you're playing well, but you yeah. think there's, you can play better. So mm. Yeah, definitely. I, do you I know what I mean? Still probably some to, good balls and some good bricks. If you used to go and watch that game in a week's time, you'd probably go, oh, that was a good match. Possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the time, you kind of, when you're in the middle of a tournament, you think, oh, yeah. I want to find a bit more. But yeah. actually, in two weeks' time, you watch it and you think, oh, that, that wins a lot mm. of tournaments. Just yeah. the stats were just up on the screen there, as you were saying that, and I'm sure some people looking at it, we only have it in a small model in the corner, it's like five, six points between you in terms of total points, safety was about the same. Stats rarely tell the story of what a match feels like. Yeah, it, it was it was quite scrappy, a couple of frames could have gone either way, especially the first two, and I managed to do a good clearance, and I done a decent clearance towards the end there, because yeah. I wasn't feeling uh, too comfortable, to be honest, but uh, I still made a, a nice clearance, and you know, it was nice to beat someone like obviously he's up in the top of the rankings one of the best about and uh, probably should be steamrolling a 43 year old man I suppose but nearly 43 but I'm still in this uh, you know I always try my best yeah uh, my safety is was was quite good again I think and uh, I think that's what won it me really he's still the oldest man in the final by the way but huh. only by a matter of months <laughs> but 20, 28 months I think from from Graham Dot I just listen you yes and you were superb but there was there was a moment which I think we know he's got the best eyesight of everyone sitting here, which was this shot, which Ronnie called live. Yeah, I then you'd this. hit the ball from the comment. Do I say he's hit that? That's moved. Yeah. You, well, you, well, I, 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 I thought moved. It's, it one, it's one of them when I thought, oh, I could have thought he hit that then, but obviously when he said yeah. foul and miss. Watch okay. it here. Well, that's moved. Look, whoa. Here we go. Hello. Yeah. See it? That's a good yeah. shot, one handed, that, isn't it? Not bad. <laughs> Not, yeah. well, well, we talked about that. Do you, because you can see it more. I can see it much, much easier. Better? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I mean, I think the ref wasn't, uh, was just going to say he never seen him carry on then for a minute. Didn't yeah. think he was going to... No, I think they heard me, Ronnie so. in commentary box. VAR, yeah, because you were shouting, Good eyes, Good eyes, Yeah, I was like, that moved. <laughs> yeah, VAR, going to have that big debate now, aren't we? Now, we, now we've seen that. Right, how are you feeling about tomorrow? I mean, Graham Dodd, some a <coughs> nice guy to be playing in the final here in Germany as well. I mean, it's so much mutual respect over decades between you. Yeah, it's, I, I'm just... It's another final, I can't believe it. You know, I've been in... Oh three this season about eight to nine quarters i'm just flying just, just well yeah just on a wave and i just yeah. keep riding the wave to the, obviously it'll come crashing down but <laughs> it's what we don't crash that's the tomorrow. attitude that's the attitude mark lovely listen we tete a tete here a second I, I was saying that you just look like you're playing in your living room what's going on inside because the outside demeanor is someone who's i would say check his heart heart yeah. rate doesn't seem um, to change no matter what the tournament i i, I, I never feel like heart beating or nothing like that. i never have i mean the last clearance, I felt a little bit twitchy, to be honest. But apart from that, it was, it was just nothing in my body, really. Just, just normal as if I'm sat here talking to you. It's wow. Not, which is, which is he said, I don't make your heart race. He's not going to tell you, is he, or <laughs> tell us? <laughs> said, you, you, you can see for yourself next time. Put an art monitor on me when I'm out there. I don't mind. And you'll see it, it don't move. <laughs> I'm loving that idea, by the Probably. way. I would love to do that. Would you wear one in the first round of a game? Of a tournament, yeah. Well, why not? Oh. I used to wear the the eye watch just to see what happens. A couple of for about three or four tournaments, and it just stayed the same all the way through, even though I was poor then as well. Yeah, Jimmy, I'm not sure about putting one in you for a tournament. No, it'd be all over the <laughs> office. I wonder what Tony Drago's would be. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a wee bit of technical snooker chat. Why not? Just before we finish, Neil, how do you read this final tomorrow? <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, there's lot, another Matt final with two guys over 40 in it, you know. Where's mm. all the youngsters again? This I young know. man's game, I keep on every tournament I say this, the young <laughs> man's where are they all? I know. I mean, two, two of the you? class of 92 yeah, didn't I'm... even enter this tournament, John and uh, Ronnie, and, and now Mark, yeah. the other one from that era, straight in there and against Dottie, who disappeared for years, not uh, been my, cited. I think the argument is there's no amateur game. <clears throat> so yeah. people yeah. are turning pro that can't play, basically. <clears throat> me, and, that me and him would have beat up when we were 11 or 12. Yeah. They just can't play, so There's something they're, in that they're, they're a bit delusional. So we've got a lot of deluded snooker players. So yeah. players like Mark and Higgins could play to their 60, really, mm. because there's no amateur game. We used to play amateur tournaments week in, week out. So when we turned pro, we were ready. Yeah. We were good enough to be pro, whereas now, I call them numpties, but there's a lot of them about. And, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's happy days for people like Mark, because he's thinking, sweet, you know. Is, is that also it's because, because you know, it, it, by the same token, not in the hard knock life, do you know what I mean? And, and not getting their experience no, 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 with no, the sawdust no, 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 on the floor. No, no, so your experience no, is huge as well. You should be supporting the amateur game rather yeah. than letting them turn pro and wasting their time. Set up an amateur circuit for them so yeah. they can all go and 
find out who's actually any good, learn their trade, and then yeah. come on like we did. Maybe, You'd all be yeah, having yeah, this like thrill. When we turn pro, <laughs> we, we'd have to play probably 50, 60 matches before we play a top 32 player. But now we can turn pro and play Ronnie, Higgins, yeah. Yeah. myself, and first round, and, and I think it is killing them. It's yeah. just because and and they're not getting no rhythm and they're just playing top players all the time and people just giving up over it. You know, it's a and lot. It me, Steve Davis and Neil Folds, to turn professional in our day, you had to win the English Amateur Championship, yeah. which there would be eight, nine hundred runners in it, you know, so like, it was a really hard tournament to win. Yeah, look, but we, you, couldn't get, you couldn't get your pro ticket unless you, unless you won that competition. We could so. have a really long debate about this, I know we're not going to do it. In. But what I would say is this, you know, when the next Ronnie O'Sullivan, Mark Williams, John Higgins, they might never find snooker these days, there's less clubs. You know, there's not, in, there's no clubs to go to yeah, in the absolutely. first place. You know, yeah. so there could be a brilliant talent out there that never, never played snooker. Well, that would have been great if he did. Well, you sum it up by this: we sat at the Masters, we watched Mark Allen win the Masters title and win 24 hours. He was playing in a club to save its yeah. skin, you know, and going in there to raise a few quid for them. Mm. So, I mean, it was such a good point in terms of if there's not that kind of route. So important, Ronnie, isn't it, to have that, have that foundation? Well, other sports do it. Tennis, football, yeah. golf. They all have good academies, good, you know, a lot of amateur circuits. But there is nothing for them to do. So that you've got people that are turning pro that, I don't know how they, I don't know where they come from. I don't even, you know, I don't even recognise a lot of these players. And, mm. and in fact, when they play snooker, they don't even look like snooker players. So you kind of got to learn your <laughs> trade. You know, you've got to play the game. You've got to get a lot of wins, a lot of losses, a lot of travelling. And, you know, you've got to earn your stripes. But some of these guys, they, 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 they just look like, they, you know, they just don't even, you know, you look like a golfer when he putts, you, they, they yeah. get the ball and they pick it out and you go, he's a golfer. <laughs> you, you know, you just know, you know, you see me get down when I putt a ball, you think, well, he's never played golf in his life. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? So you kind of need to some, somehow, I don't know how you do it, cause, um, but you've got to try and sort of provide a platform for mm. players, juniors to come through to compete against each other. They are doing other. it in China, though, aren't they? Yeah, but what I'm saying is in another 10 years, you'll just have all Chinese mm. snooker players. You, you think it would be better if any... the tour was cut, not so many pros? No, I don't think that's the case. I think you need an amateur circuit, yeah. whereas, you know, they can play week in, week out, you know, mm. and, and learn to win, learn to lose. A lot of these yeah, yeah. players now, they, they're good potters, but they don't know the inner game. Well, listen, tomorrow is all about the seniors. We can't wait. What a final... <laughs> we've got for you right here on Eurosport. Mark Williams, a chance to win his third title of the season, his second ranking title. And for Graham Dart, can he lift the ranking title for the first time in 11 years? Kids, remember, both past the 40 mark. So we are on for tomorrow afternoon and evening, the 2018 German Masters final, live and exclusive here in the station, best of 17, that brings you more snooker than any other Eurosport. So who is your money on? Mark's got the spark, Graham's in the frame. It will all be decided in tomorrow's big game. Good night.